Hey guys, it's Rhea here at allofourhomes.com and today we wanted to share with you some of our cleaning tips for our preschool pod. Here are the tools that I need to clean up after having our uh, preschool pod over. I actually just have this spray bottle that I have filled with um, this rubbing alcohol, which is what the CDC re recommends to disinfect, and it's 70%, uh, which is the right number. Otherwise, if you have a higher number, you can dilute it with water. Roll of paper towels, some cloths for cleaning, and a mop, and a broom. First I'll go through and just pick up any papers and artwork that the kids have created. Then I'll go through and spray down any of the high touch surfaces, including the seating, tables, wipe down all the puzzles. So spray down any doorknobs, light switches, the sink, soap, anything high touch. I also should mention you should turn on a fan or open a window like I have now so that uh, you aren't inhaling the alcohol that you're spraying. You should also wipe down any high touch surfaces and toilet surfaces. I've sprayed here. I also spray down uh, the handle for our fridge and the door to our trash. Then I'll remove the towels that were put out earlier in the day, both in the bathroom and in the kitchen. and toss them into our the dirty towel bin. And then I'll put back our towel to use until tomorrow. And the floor needs a good sweep. Then I mop the floor. One clever thing about lining trash cans that I learned from a hotel is you can stick the entire roll of trash bags into your trash can uh, and just open up the top one and it stays connected and then when you're done with it you just pull it off here where it's perforated, tie the top and throw it out um, so you never have to go race around looking for another trash bag. And. You can take the pile of books and either wipe them down with a cleaner or just sort of quarantine them and put out a different set for the next day. The last thing I'll do is take the bin of toys, fill it up with water, and add some bleach. So I just let these soak for about five minutes and then pour them out and rinse them. And now everything is set for tomorrow.